Opening whistle, here we go on this beautiful Saturday night. It's a dream matchup in the Eastern Conference. Two sides, three points apart, Pittsburgh and Tampa Bay. From Question of, of how they time their improvement going into the playoffs, which players are fit. and cause this, this attacking lineup for, for Pittsburgh, if you chuck in Dan Kelly as well, wow. And that's what Tampa Bay was saying. Neil Collins, when we chatted, he said, forget their form, look at their strikers. Good ball, Central. Dixon further, and a rip is in! An excellent beginning! For a, for a setup, and it's Ordonez at the far post. Don't know what he's doing in there as a <laughs> defender, but have a look. Ball gets laid to him. Hits that first time as well with his left foot. Brilliant, brilliant strike setup. What can they give in response? We know what a good side they are. We know what wonderful players they have. But we also know how difficult a place this is. Here they go! What a finish! What a response! Kyle Gregg throws a dagger! Brilliant. How quick is Kyle Gregg to respond to that? Keep I'm telling you now, Bob Lilly will not be happy with that. White. Touches further. Lakava crossing! Bobbled and grabbed. Strike like Winzardi. He's only scored one in 16 games. Doesn't make sense because he's so brilliant around the fringes and six-yard box. And do you wonder if there's something else going on with his form? Ball in front. Goalkeeper fell down. Tampa Bay gets another. It's another for Leo Fernandez. By hook or by crook, he can't be stopped. And 20 minutes in, the Rowdies lead. A ball that he could have reached and blocked. Nice little interplay on the edge. High ball, there's plenty of time to respond. Goalkeeper slips up. In that room, discussing exactly what happened and why, and going over and over again, because it's it's way too easy. It's a tough, it's such a good, oh, here's a chance. Oh, it's excellent. And Cochran gets down to deny it, Kelly. I think he can a little bit um, annoyed with them if they don't perform. Wyke curling over the top, that's headed wide. Could have been another one. Well, Fernandez, who scored again, scored the 20th. That's the go-ahead. The equalizer came from Kyle Gregg in the 15th. 12th-minute opener from Arturo Ordonez for Pittsburgh. Cutting back, LaCava! A three-goal half for the Rowdies. They are officially firing on all cylinders. Lewis Hilton here with the ball. That gets things going. Delgard's going to run into that box and create the opportunity. All the time he's he's looking and head up. He knows he can see that lumen. Cicerone was asking for a penalty. He thought he had been tripped on the box entry there. Ball in front. There's contact. Goalkeeper comes out and took it right to the chest. Ball fired ahead, Fernandez. He's been scintillating. Oh, what a finish! Leo Fernandez, man on fire. Rowdies by three. And it's all working tonight for Tampa Bay. It's the post, Lewis Hilton with a long ball in here. He takes it with one, flicks it up, but then from such a difficult angle, keep it. See if there's any way in which we can grab a point from this match, but I still think Dan Kelly would be a good option to bring on, and probably the sooner the better. Turned over M. Kosana. Lucky! Oh, he did it again! Off the post and in! Off the bench, on the score sheet, the Rowdies are running up the score. ...of a ball, but this is very, very poor defensively, and it's coming from Mikel Williams. Has the ball taken off him, but look at the finish right in the corner again. Just off. smacked across, pulled in by Ibarra, crossing. Good save, Cochran, and then lost in the goal. And Pittsburgh rips one back. Authoritative finish, Cicerone. From a wonderful strike, CJ Cochran, Ibarra with the ball in here. Have a look from the header, keeper makes a wonderful save, but then quick to react. As we approach the, the dying embers, and that's full time. The Tampa Bay Rowdies 
continue to charge up the Eastern Conference.